In today's video, I am gonna teach you how to wire up a hazard switch circuit on any vehicle that you want. So, let's get started. Now, before I can talk about the hazard switch, I need to explain what the heck this is. Now, this is a turn signal circuit, which you will see if I flick the le left turn signals. And I also have the right turn signals. Now, the way that this works is you have power coming in to a flasher relay. Now, this is what actually makes the lights flash. Then power comes out of the flasher relay on these two blue wires, and these blue wires go to pin 30 on each relay. Now, these relays are actually numbered on the bottom, and each one has five different numbers because it's a five-pin relay. Now, the five-pin relay has an 85, an 86, an 87, an 87A, and a 30. Now, these blue wires, they go to pin 30 on the relays. Coming out of the relays on the yellow wires, that is pin 87. Now, one relay does the right directionals, one relay does the left directionals. So when you turn on the left directionals, you have power coming out of the yellow wire and going to each bulb. If you turn on the right directionals, you have power coming out the yellow wire on the right relay going to the right bulbs. Now, the black wires on these relays are pin 85, and they just go to ground. And you'll notice I have all my grounds for my bulbs all meeting up in the same place. But if you want to ground those right to a chassis, that's totally fine too. They don't all have to connect in the same place. They all just need to have a common ground, which is usually the chassis of a vehicle. Now, the other pins that I haven't mentioned yet are pin 87, or I'm sorry, pin 86, which begins at the battery. So you have power coming in through a fused wire, and the power goes to the center of a three-way switch. Now, this switch has no power going through it when it's straight up and down, but if you flick it in one direction, it stays there, and it turns on one directional. If you flick it in the other, it stays, and it turns on the other. And what that actually does is it has power coming in the center, and then depending on which way you turn it, it sends power out this wire, or it sends power out that wire. Now each wire goes to a different relay. So you have one wire going into pin 86 on this relay for the left directionals. And the other side is the white wire going into the relay for the right directionals on pin 86. Now the only wire that I'm not using on these relays is pin 87A. Now, if you want to use a four pin relay, that's totally fine. You're just gonna not have pin 87A. And that's fine because we're not using pin 87A anyways. All right, so now that we got that sorted out, let's talk about the actual hazard switch. Now the hazard switch circuit is actually super easy to wire. All it has is a power wire with a fuse in it, which goes to a switch, which is called a double pole single throw switch. So single throw means it goes one way or the other. And then double pole means it's like having two switches in one. So although it's one switch that you flick, it's actually connecting this terminal to this and this terminal to this. So it's a pretty cool design of switch. Now, the way it works is you have power coming in and it goes to one side of the switch. And then I have just jumped it over to the other side of the switch so that both sides of the switch have power. So it's almost like you're sending power to two different switches. Now on the output side of the switch, I have two wires and they're both outputs. So all you're doing when you're flicking the switch is you're taking the power from this side and sending it out this side through the white wires. So let's connect it up to the diagram and then I'll show you how it all works. Now this is a really simple circuit to, to make work. The way it works is you have power coming in from the battery through a fuse now it comes into each side of the switch right here. And then when you turn on the switch, the power comes out through these white wires over to the three-way switch, which is really your turn signal switch. So all it's doing is rather than taking power through the center switch and sending it out one of these white wires over to your relays, what the hazard switch is doing is it's sending power out two wires to both relays at the same time. So let's see it work. So now, power's coming in, power's coming out of the two white wires, 
and then it's jumping right over here to both sides of the relay, or both relays, and it's telling the relays to turn on. So this is actually a really simple circuit to add on to, and if you're wiring up a hot rod or a motorcycle or a moped or an ATV or a side-by-side, -side, whatever it may be, this is actually a circuit that you can just add on to really any vehicle you want. And it's pretty easy to do. It's very cheap. Um, I'll have links down in the description so that you can pick up the majority of these parts uh, online very inexpensively. And yeah, hopefully you liked the video. Hopefully you learned something. And if you did like the video, be sure to give me a subscribe and a like. Maybe even comment and tell me what you're working on. And uh, yeah, I hope we'll see you on the next one.